Speaking of your family, which saints do you hope your children emulate? Well, we'll go with their namesakes. So for St. Benedict, that he can be a man who is of or at labora, prayer and work. And for Basil, following Basil the Great, he can be a person that that is uh, works for justice for the poor. And for Miriam to, um, yeah, to really uh, emulate mm -hmm. Mama Mary in being somebody who listens to the voice of God and, and follows God with her whole heart and being. And fortunately, the kids will be helping to ask a few questions later on in the interview, so we can be excited for that. What makes your favorite dessert your favorite? Well, I think it's tough to pick a favorite because I love many, many, many desserts. But uh, one thing we chose for my birthday was molasses cookies. And I think I love those because it reminds me of childhood and of my grandma who made them. And um, yeah, something about that ginger spiciness, molasses rolled in sugar, just delicious. Hey Miriam, it's your turn to ask a question. Ask Mama, what kind of toothpaste do you use? Um, Say, what kind of toothpaste do you use? My toothpaste. Well, we'll ask it to you anyway. Well, I don't, I don't necessarily stick with a single kind, but, you know, not surprisingly, I like to go with the more natural brands, and I do like the anise flavored ones. So. Uh, Beth Simpson's episode? Oh, well, um, as a nod to my hubby, it's possible the, the hockey one where Lisa and Bart both play on against they're on opposing teams in hockey, that that might be one of the faves. Nice. Benny, it's your turn to ask your question. Um, What's the most memorable thing I, about Easter this year? Um, what, what was the most memorable thing about Easter this year? Oh gosh, I really loved uh, Easter and the Triduum this year. I felt like as a family we got to really participate and so just the foot washing, the Stations of the Cross that they put together. Benny, Benny from the balcony announcing the resurrection with the trumpet, Basil playing Jesus Christ is risen today, the Easter fire. It was all super great. Man, that's hard to beat. What do you do when you're mad? Oh, um, I'm kind of of the passive aggressive <laughs> nature. So, so often I make snarky comments to Mike. <laughs> Let's, let's just take a quick, short little walk through the yard while we keep asking a few questions and then we'll head into the house. Why did you get married at Pentecost? Well, uh, part of the reason was very practical that uh, because Pentecost was on Sunday, that the day before our very good friends Patrick and Annie uh, were getting married, so we couldn't choose that day. But um, I think we both really love the Holy Spirit and know that you need the Holy Spirit active in your lives um, to try to, you know, uh, to be living, living the gospel as a, as a couple and as a family. What do you do when Miriam tries to uh, eat more goldfish than you know are good for her? Well, I usually um, take the bag away. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, let's move into the house that my husband right now. What was, would you like hey, some? Basil. We're going inside. Hey Basil, you get to help with this question. Ask mom. Here, there you go. Can you go after that? Come on, Mimi. Come on, Mimi. Do you want to ask her that? Bring him inside. Basil? Oh, did you hear him? Get it again. Just ask it. Ask it one what was time. your what, Baz? What was your favorite subject in school? Well, um, when I was younger, it was probably English, like in high school. Um, in college, uh, my favorite class that I took was a Fate to Die For with Mike Baxter. Ooh. Extra question there. That's great. Why is peace so hard to achieve? Um, I think because we all naturally act from out of kind of self-interest and selfishness and that's really hard to yeah, Speaking of peace being hard to achieve, uh, let's head into the dining room. Shall we pause it? And... Okay. Maybe 
Give her a few more. Give her a few more. Here, we're going to give you a few more, and then you need to stop crying. And, um,